Hi everyone, I'm James Weatherby and today I'm down in the Atomos studio with cinematographer Amel Bertolek. Thanks James. Welcome. So today we're going to be going over the Ninja cast. So we all have a Ninja V or a Ninja V Plus. Uh, let's just quickly go over some of our favourite features. Sure thing. One of my favourite features is focus peaking, which I use all the time. I basically keep it always on. Um, do you have a favourite feature, Emil? I think mine would probably have to be the waveform. I always have it up just to kind of check where my exposure is. For sure. It's so useful, hey. Uh, so what we're going to do now is switch into multi-view mode. So once the Ninja V is attached to the Atom X cast, it transforms into a four input HDMI switcher. So down the bottom here, we have four function buttons and the four input buttons. So if we're in switcher mode, the input buttons we can use to easily just switch our media, switch between different inputs. We can also have the option to switch inputs with the touch screen. Another feature with switching is we have the ability to go into two touch mode. And what that means is we can basically preview an input, right? So here we have a right. preview monitor, a program monitor, so what we can do, you know, behind the scenes is we can preview different different inputs, make sure everything's good to go before making it live and sending it to the program. Of course. Um, let's quickly go over some of the overlays features, right? So uh, I can either tap F3 or simply tap overlays. And now um, the four input buttons act as a graphic switcher. So if I go into the overlays menu, here we can see, uh, this is where we can configure our graphics. What is the select media slot options here? Sure, so that is our eight media slots there. So we have eight slots that we can use. Um, the white ones there, uh, we've already uploaded media to and the grayed out ones means that we're yet to upload media there. It's good that you can have up to eight. Yeah, you can have up to eight and on one preset, so we're on preset two at the moment, what we can do is we can actually add more graphics to that. Right, and we can we can place them in different positions. Can you max it out if you really want you to? You can max it out. That's yeah. that's a good question. Yeah. So you can upload all um all eight slots and and have a really filled. So it's screen. really customizable as well. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. We also have audio follow video down here. What does that mean? So that basically means that when you switch your different inputs, your audio will basically follow. Uh, the input basically so if you swap to input one it will take the audio from input one when you switch there as well if you swap to input three it will then take the audio from input three awesome so let's quickly go have a look at the picture in picture menu this is one of my favorite features so great for gamers great for streaming great for news broadcast or a sports broadcast um, let's just enter the picture in picture menu and here, what we do first is we turn picture and picture on, right? And this input, input four is turned yellow. That means that this input has been selected for picture and picture. Awesome. And that, that's choosing from all the video inputs we have already. Correct. Right? Correct. Okay. So, you know, I could go to input three, I can go to input one. I can also move it around the screen. Again, can we change this while we are live as well? Great question. You can do all of this live, right? right okay. So yeah, you can change Oops. the size. Oops, sorry. Oh. <laughs> you can even play with the opacity. Why would we want to change up the opacity of our picture in picture? Good question. So there's, you know, a few different use cases for that. Maybe you have um, some gameplay footage over the top of you speaking to camera and you know, you're talking about something important and you want them to not focus on the gameplay so much, you could just bring the level down while you mention that point, bring it back up, you know? Different use cases. Just a little hint of picture in picture in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We can just, we have a kill switch for picture in picture in the top corner as well. So we can just tap that off and on. And again, we, we have a yellow, a yellow color signifying which input is selected for picture in picture. So let's quickly go over some more functionality in the switcher menu. So here we also have the ability to switch between two touch mode and one touch mode. We can do that here. Um, also here we have the ability to alter what the uh, HDMI output from the Ninja is sending out. So at the moment, as I said earlier, we're using it as a preview monitor but you might want to use it as a multi-view monitor. So, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So, you know, you might have your director wanting to make sure that, you know, 
he wants to see the whole picture so multi-view would be used for that use case you also have the ability to match it to the program and make it a second program feed so maybe you need to send your program to one place and you also want to send it to another destination live you have the ability i think it's really useful to be in preview we also have the ability to um, turn on transitions so here under transitions we have it off at the moment but what i can do is uh, turn dip to color on and at the moment we have black selected are there any other colors we can dip to for sure we can dip to white as well so let's just have a look at how that looks when we switch oh that was really quick that was really quick so we can make it a bit longer as well oh it's good that you can adjust the duration yeah yeah so we also have the ability to fade in and out so um let's say we wanted to end our stream here we can just fade out and it'll cut to black it'll cut audio um it'll still send a feed um if you have your live button switched but then what you can do is turn your live button off which is your kill switch for your feed right and then everything's gone uh when you're not live the button's white when you tap the button and you you go live it turns red awesome thanks for the demo james i feel like i've got something new to use my ninja for on my shoots which is awesome for sure so did you say this was the kill switch yeah 